We think with the rise of AI, gaming, just like an NVIDIA stock, like writings on the wall, we think we'll see that same GPU ubiquity in the future. And with the rise of AI, you'll see these autonomous agents sort of trading and transacting. And like they will want a form of money that directly correlates to their input costs. So we think yeah. like we think that they can't go to an AI can't go to a bank. They can't open a bank account. There's no physical property. So yeah, there's there's the digital aspect of it, but there's also just the um, the physical aspect to it. And and I know I know you and uh, David like the love it the the AI one a little bit better. But I love it. But, it's a long term like vision, but like I think yeah, yeah like, they're, they're gonna trade. They're gonna like be a part of. It's like humans and machines are gonna be a part of our economy in the future. And like they will prefer a input cost. Or a money associated with their input costs, which yeah. like an energy-based money like well, suits but, them but, entirely. But in, in, in the in the physical setting, it's not much different, right? Um, if we think about goods and services in the economy, if it's a competitive good, the sort of upcharge of that good by every you know retailer in the economy is effectively reflective of their energy input. That's directly in terms of you know gas or electricity or like paying a salary to you know an employee who then goes home and like keeps their house and buys food which was farmed with a tractor using mm -hmm. diesel. It's it's all energy at the end of the day. So like the deltas in every markup in a competitive good is energy. Um, and so energy like is sort of the most ubiquitous and natural pricing input for all goods and services in the economy. And because it's it exists in sort of every good. It also makes a very, very good um, unit of pricing. Uh, so much so that you could argue that it's better than any other unit of pricing, uh, because if there's effectively a shock in energy inputs, um, if your your pricing mechanism is in energy, everything technically got instantaneously repriced. So you don't even have like a bullwhip effect of like pricing having to roll up and down the supply chain. It just instantaneously changes, right? So if like energy costs go up 10%. Right. This would still be one chi, let's say. Uh, it's just one chi would represent 10% more more value, so to speak, because the energy costs went up 10%. Um, so, it, so it almost like makes a more efficient economy just in that regard because it, it's just a better unit of account. Yeah. For the global physical economy and the digital compute economy. Well, future. it's but, but, man you, and machine, but, but money you, for both. You, you see how it's the same thing, though. Yeah. Right. It's the input cost to do compute, but it's also the input cost to make this table. It's just like your input cost is largely dictated by energy in both cases. Always. Oh,